Hello everyone, my name is Anita from the Medicine Hat Public Library and I've got a really sweet little craft for you. It kind of comes on the tails of our ocean story time that we just did. So what I've got for you is an oyster shell with pearls inside. You see that? It is really, really cute. And it took me a while to figure this one out because it all depends on the paper plates that you used. So what do you need for this craft? You need paper plates and I found that the small ones these are I think like five or six inches I got these from the dollar store and uh, so you need paper plates you need some plastic beads plastic beads like that you need some tape you may not want to use it and I'll tell you why in a bit and some paint paintbrush you could use a sponge if you like to paint up your oyster shell and really that's it Oh, you need these too. So you need some pipe cleaners for your oyster bracelets. Okay, let's get started. Now, I did this one first and I just used regular paint that I had hanging around the house. And the original craft that I looked at, it really had light, it was really light and it looked really pretty, but I realized going uh, forward that actually this looks really nice too. So we paint up your paper plates and I actually painted the outside too, because I think it looks cute as well. Now, I painted this one here, and you see how it just does not look very good. So what happened with this one was, originally the craft asked for water paint. I painted this one first, thought I made a mistake, and thought, okay, I'll try some water paint. That was not a good idea, because here's why. The type of paper plate that you get. This one that I bought is rough textured on the outside, but the inside is shiny. And I don't know if you can actually see that, but it's shiny. And so um, paint, water paint, did not want to stick on this. So using just paint normally without watering it down is probably the best course of action, I think. And for your little ones to, to paint and stuff, that's the best. So let's start. So I'm going to, Put this little guy right here because he's, he's just so adorable right there and we're gonna paint this so uh, make sure you have some newspaper or something on your table so you don't get paint all over and you know I just really I just squirted some on my like that and in fact I squirted it right in the, the plate but you might not want to do that with your little ones you might want to have some caution there and and put it on a, a, a in a container or something for them to use I use this paint this you know old paintbrush and it worked really well. I do have a sponge, but I'm gonna use what worked. So what did I do? I just put that in there all over and I swirled it around. Now I did use other colors and you can too. I have yellow. I had some hot pink, which I put in there. I had some purple. It didn't, I had to really, really put a lot on to make it stand out, but Really, use whatever colors your little ones want to use. Make it splashy, it really doesn't matter. And the really cute thing about the bracelet is that you don't have to tape it in here. I've taped it in, but they can just wear, take it out and wear it, put it back in, close up their shell. It's a really sweet little piece. So, how long does it take to dry? Mm, about 10 minutes or so, you see it's pretty wet. But I actually turned it over and I thought, I'll just do the whole thing, okay? May as well get it all wet. And then you're gonna to have to uh, apply the other colors if you want, you know, the pink or the, the yellow on it. And I just did the outside really quickly. And I pulled that over and I let it sit down and I waited. And I waited. I'll let this sit here and I'll be back, okay? Okay, so that's dry, but now we're gonna add some of the other colors. So it kind of looks like that. I'm going to use some, I really like the pink, and uh, maybe I'll put some green. Let's do some pink and some green. And again, I just poured a little bit out, just enough to, you know, make a little bit of a, a splash of color other than the blue. I'll put some green there, don't know how that's gonna work out, but, and some yellow, because yellow always seems to brighten things up a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna do a weird thing, because I forgot to wash my brush out. But you know what? I think it'll be fine because I'm just using it to dab color on. So, yep, yeah, see, it's going on there, all right? 
So I just want to put a little blob just to make it stand out a little bit, just like that. Okay, and maybe on the other side as well. And I'm just gonna pat it out. Ooh, that made green. <laughs> okay, let's do some of that pink because the pink just kind of softens it up too, doesn't it? Ooh, that's nice and bright. It's probably gonna dry a little bit darker, but okay, and a little bit on the other side, just to give it some more pops of color. So there you have it, I like that. And we're gonna let it dry again, okay? So give it a few more minutes and I'll be back and we will make our um, little pearl bracelet, okay? All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back and it looks like our plate is all dry. Now, I would wait until the plate is, uh, the, the paint is all drying here before you actually fold it to look like a little oyster shell, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now. And it's a little bit softer now because of course we painted it and that always helps. So there we go. So there's our little oyster shell, sweet. Now, um, of course, while you're doing this craft, you could be talking about oysters. Um, have your children ever seen an oyster? I mean, I did, I printed out a picture here. So they're not that pretty really when they come out of the ocean, uh, but they do have some really pretty uh, pearls inside. And if you have a can of oysters, that'd be kind of cool to show them too. <laughs> it might be a little gross, but fun. So the next thing we're going to do with our oyster shell is get your pipe cleaner. And I found these at the dollar store. Again, I found some sparkly ones because those always look really cool. Now, uh, the original uh, craft had them made really tiny, but I thought it'd be really cool if you could make it so that your little ones could actually take them out and wear them if they wanted to. And that makes it a little bit more versatile and a lot more fun, okay? So you need some beads and my beads are right here. You can use any color of bead because as I discovered reading about oysters, um, they're not just white pearls. They can be black, they can be gray, they can be red, they can be blue and green. It's amazing. So how many beads do you want to put on yours? Well, this one here that I put, I put six on this one. But again, you know, your kids might want to put a ton of them on, right? It just depends on how they would like it to look. And I'm just pulling random colors and slipping it on there. And then you can make it fit your little one's wrist so that they can take it off and on easily. And I didn't cut mine at all because I just twisted it. So I took it and I measured and then I just twisted the ends around. Keep twisting, keep twisting. And make sure, of course, it isn't gonna hurt your little one with uh, the edges, right? So there's mine. And like I said before, I taped it in and you don't have to, you can leave it just free and just pull like that and lay it inside your oyster shell. Pearls, everybody loves them. So if you enjoyed this craft and you made it and if you you know, modified it in any way at all, please let us know. Send us your pictures, uh, post them to Instagram uh, or Facebook or on our YouTube channel. Uh, let us, you know, take a look what's on their MH uh, Public Library. Uh, we would love to hear from you. As always, be safe and be kind and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.